comes to Florida State Representative Bob Allen, a creative, if somewhat oh, racist explanation for his arrest by an undercover police officer who claims Mr. Allen offered him oral sex and $20 in a public men's room. He was buying not sex, but time, time to make an escape. From his taped statement to police, the undercover officer, Representative Allen said, quote, was a pretty stocky black guy, and there was nothing but other black guys around in the park, and that he, quoting again, was afraid he was about to be a statistic. Our runner-up, conservative water carrier Laura Ingram, who just flat-out lied about the New York Times. She told Fox Noise that a Times editorial about the FISA law had concluded that, quote, we should not update this surveillance law to meet current advances in technology. We are now in a blackout with some of this intelligence because of what the New York Times and what the Democrats have done. Except that's not what the Times editorial said. It said, in fact, the exact opposite. It insisted on updating the law to meet current advances in technology. The Times wrote, quote, instead of asking Congress to address this anachronism as it should, the White House sought to use it to destroy the 1978 spying law. It's just in, conservatives don't know how to read. They merely skim. And to that point tonight, our winner, Billo. In an interview, Senator Chris Dodd of Connecticut reminded Orally that he had once talked about how this country should let al-Qaeda attack San Francisco. Bill did not deny it. He just demanded Dodd present a quote and a date. Senator Dodd, who having a life does not keep handy a list of Bill O'Reilly's top 3,000 inhuman and inaccurate statements, could not produce either. Bill O'Bart, no, you're wrong. I didn't say it here. You don't know what the hell I said, with all due respect. Bill, 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 it's you who've never known what the hell you said. November 10th, 2005, the Orally Factor, after the city had passed a non-binding resolution encouraging public schools from permitting on-campus military recruiting, saying if he were president, it's O'Reilly, he'd tell San Franciscans, quote, if Al-Qaeda comes in here and blows you up, we're not going to do anything about it. We're going to say, look, every other place in America is off limits to you except San Francisco. You want to blow up the Coit Tower? Go ahead. Billo, as ever, in his most towering rage when somebody quotes one of his own blockheaded remarks back to him. Today's worst person in the world.